So, today is October the 19th, and on this day in 1927, the first commercial flight was made by Pan American World Airways, or airlines, I'm not sure if it's airways or airlines, anyway, Pan Am, as we all learned to know of it as, made its first commercial flight. And that flight was to Havana in Cuba. And uh, so I'm gonna make a cocktail that's called the Pan Am. It's actually a delicious cocktail. Uh, and there's something sort of luxurious about it because it's kind of a frothy, slightly sweet, but also tart with some citrus in it kind of cocktail. But it feels like it evokes, to me anyway, that sort of era of what we think of as luxury travel, you know? Um, Pan Am had that reputation. They used to have some postcards, funny enough, and they, they all had uh, uh, images of Pan Am flying to exotic destinations in, uh, in the Caribbean, in, to Hawaii and, and Latin America. And uh, it really seemed to be the last word in luxury. Um, so much so, in fact, you know, postcards. I mean, they had postcards they used to write. Who, who writes postcards though? Just send a text or an email or something, or whatever. There you go. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Wish you were here. Um, but no, the, the, the idea of this sort of luxury uh, travel, to me, was exemplified also in the fact that in the movie 2001, and I've spoken of that movie before and how much Lysander just hated me making him watch it, even though he didn't go on his text, you know, it wasn't on his cell phone at the time. Um, but in that movie, there was a flight and it was taking the scientist up to see the strange monolith that's appeared and it was a 30-seater spacecraft, much like the space shuttle as they turned out to be, but with just the one scientist on, on board, a bit of a luxury trip, because of course it was a top secret mission to find out what this um, odd monolith was all about. Um, but I digress, as I always do. Uh, what, what I'm going to do is make a, the Pan Am cocktail. Uh, it's not surprisingly a rum-based drink. Uh, and given that the first flight by Pan Am was to Havana, of course I'm gonna use Havana Club. And I'm going to just for the purposes of this video, ignore the fact that Havana Club is in fact made in Puerto Rico and not in Havana, but you know, maybe it's just the name that counts, right? Um, it takes one and a half ounces of white rum or silver rum, whatever we wanna call it. Like, so I'm gonna pour this into a shaker that I've already filled with ice. Next ingredient, we are going to have some Aperol. This will turn it into a really um, nice, interesting looking reddish pink color. We just want half an ounce of that. So I'm starting to drip there. Half an ounce of that in there. And then the next ingredient, which will add the sweetness that we want to balance what's going to be the bit of citrus in there, is some orgeat, the uh, almond syrup, uh, that is just a really great ingredient to have. You should get yourself some if you don't already have some. Um, I was making a cocktail for some friends at the weekend. Uh, I can't remember what it was, uh, but a prime ingredient of it, it was one that I just made, did a video of it just recently, but I do know that a prime ingredient of that cocktail was in fact orgeat, and I had forgotten the orgeat, and I was like, can't make the cocktail. I went rifling around this friend's house, this Carolyn and Brent's house. Um, nice party, by the way. Thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> I said, have you got anything almondy? <laughs> and Carolyn handed me a jar of almond butter. So yes, I did in fact mix that in with some sugar syrup and create what was almost certainly a monstrosity of a cocktail. Um, <laughs> but everyone was very nice about it with their essentially peanut butter cocktail. <laughs> oh, I still can't get over that. Anyway, we're gonna put in a half an ounce of orgeat, like so. And actually, I thought you saw I was a bit heavy with my hand there. I don't mind that too much. I think uh, sometimes some of the cocktails I do need a little more sweet in them. But you know, like all of the cocktails, decide yourself what the balance between um, the tart and sweet, between the citrus and the sugar, really should be. Uh, the next ingredient is in fact um, the other half of this lemon I squeezed earlier, um, an ounce of lemon juice. There we go, put that in there. And then final ingredient is an egg white. Now, the recipe itself called for this cocktail, 
and you can follow these instructions if you like to be dry shaken so that is you would first of all shake all the ingredients in a shaker without ice and then add the ice afterwards um, and the reason you do that is because the reason the uh, egg white is in there is to make this frothy drink um, you know with like a nice sort of frothy top on it and I've tried that and firstly it always winds up escaping out the top of my shaker maybe the shaker needs to be sealed a bit better but also I can't really tell the difference and maybe as I've often pointed out maybe I'm just not enough of that um, mixologist to really care enough I suppose but if you want to do that do that I don't really think this cocktail needs it anyway give it a really good shake because you do want it to go quite frothy I think that'll do it I gave it some welly really I'll just get this out and I'm going to kind of strain this into the glass but with a heavy hand so that I don't really want the ice in there but I do want all the froth to escape there we go you just pour that oh I almost dropped my strain into a cocktail glass like that and then what this calls for is some Angostura bitters and how I used to make it was I just put three drops on top which looks really nice and actually the photo on Difford's guide is exactly that it's got just three drops of this stuff in it but the recipe actually calls for it to be atomized and I wind up buying a few of these little spray bottles and that's what we are going to do with this um, make our cocktail a little posher that way because after all it's a cocktail celebrating the sort of last word in luxury travel around the world um, so it calls for one two three oh it's coated the whole top of it. it looks quite different that way there's a sort of Angostura coloured top over this amazingly looking pink libation. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that is delicious. That really does take you and transport you, if you will, to the age of luxury. Cheers. <laughs>